in Litchfield Diocese, we have a project called Chad Living, which is thinking about our choices, habits, actions and decisions as followers of Jesus Christ. And one of the things that's been a kind of cause of discussion over this event is why would this be a thing that Christians are doing that is happening in the church? And tonight is all about raising awareness about the human and environmental cost of the fashion and textile industry. The Global Slavery Index estimates that there are staggering 136,000 modern slavery victims right here in the UK. They're making our clothes, they're washing our cars, they're picking our food and they're painting our nails. Hope is a hosting scheme brought above slavery. So we train and support hosts to welcome people into their homes once they come out of the same house. Often they are destitute, they can't work, they can't pay their benefits and then they might be re-trafficked again so we step in and prevent re-trafficking. I wrote a piece called Letter to a Trafficker. Um, which is a kind of imagined conversation between myself and a trafficker. Yeah. I'm trying to get my head round really what it means that to pray for an end to trafficking. I'm willing to pray for the, pray for the, the, the trafficker, I guess. And uh, so it's, it's quite a yeah, quite challenging piece for me to write. And roars for the oppressed. But why? Why should we be doing this? I believe it's because that's exactly what Jesus would be doing. Jesus explains, I came to give life and life in all its fullness. And it's this pursuit of life and all its fullness that drives many of us to be Jesus to people. For a long time, the church has been interested in what people wear, but really it's only mostly been interested in what women wear and whether those things are modest and whether they had a hat on their head or not. But clothes really are a matter of discipleship. Like every other area of our lives, they're about who we are, how we choose to live our life how we choose to represent the God who loves us, how we choose to respond to, to Christ. We have to, we have to care about this. 